You're watching Life on Video. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Life on Video. Today we're back and we're at the Arizona Sonoran Desert Museum in Tucson, Arizona. Let's check it out. All right, so it's been a while since we've been to the Desert Museum. We are annual members, so today we're not gonna pay anything to get in because we bought a membership. We love coming to the Desert Museum, we just haven't been in a while. So it's beautiful Super Bowl Sunday, so we're headed out here. We honestly thought it wouldn't be that packed because the Super Bowl is happening in Phoenix today, but apparently nobody's going and the Desert Museum is absolutely packed to the gills. So we're looking to have a fun day and uh, I'm sure we're gonna see a ton of people in here as well. Looks like we have some construction going on in here, so I can't wait to see that. Hopefully it's something awesome. Again, one of the things I love the most about this is they just put everything in real perspective for how you would run into these things in the wildlife. And it's just like, if you didn't see them, boom. Right there, like there he is. And then over here, right here, abandoned rattlesnake, abandoned rock rattlesnake. And that's exactly how you're gonna run into him in the wild. Okay, so one thing we wanna make sure we show you guys while we're here today is the Pack Rat Playhouse. It's one of the newest additions to the Desert Museum and it's awesome. It's like a little playground, jungle gym for kids and it's as if you're a pack rat so everything is jumbo sized um so it's like you're a pack rat going through everything so we want to show you that it's one of the newest additions really fun okay we found something new in the rocks and mineral area we found this which is a little display of all the different dinosaurs and fossils they found in arizona and then we see over here it looks like they're building another exhibit right here not sure what it's going to be but glad to see that they're expanding and building new things though that's awesome looks like they have new wolves let's see if we can see them all right we can actually see them they're sleeping if you can make her out down there she's sleeping did you see the wolf? What's a wolf sound like? Oh! Oh! Nice. All right, we found some more construction. So this used to be the vulture enclosure where they had vultures at, but they haven't had vultures here for a little bit. So it looks like they're finally putting some effort into redoing this. I don't know if they're gonna put the vultures back in here or if they're gonna do something else, but we'll see what happens. Cause this is relatively new within like the past few years too. Interesting. All right, they also used to have a crane in here as well. And it looks like this is under construction as well. Interesting. A pancake pin cushion. Bizinguita, something like that. It does look like a pin cushion, that's crazy. Yeah. All right, we're not too far from the Pack Rat Playhouse. We like to get there by walking through the exhibit Life on the Rocks because there are some really cool things in there. But you can skip Life on the Rocks and just walk that way and the Pack Rat Playhouse is just right on the other side there. But we are gonna hit Life on the Rocks because this is one of our favorite spots. Yeah. They have this little mini cave that the kids can kind of squeeze through as if they were explorers. Then it goes through here goes all the way out. See that, guys? All right, so we're just walking, right? And then you look up here. And right here, sure enough, there's a lizard just hanging out. That's awesome. All right, so we just exited Life on the Rocks, and now we're heading over to the Pack Rat Playhouse. And the Pack Rat Playhouse is in this direction, 
right over here where the sign is. And we're gonna head in. Yeah. Watch out. And we're inside. So this is the Pat Crab Playhouse. You have some vending machines, water bottle fill-ups. And then you walk into this giant rattlesnake hanging out here with some scorpions and a Gila monster. And then it's just a massive jungle gym inside where the kids have slides, they can play, and just kind of let off a little more energy. And honestly, in the summertime, it's really nice to get in here and get out of the heat. You can see, this is supposed to be reminiscent of, you are the pack rat. So everything is gigantic in here because you're supposed to be the size of a rat. And this whole thing's built after a habitat. They have lots of cool things in here that you can look at from a microscopic level. And then this is probably one of the coolest and grossest things. Which one is pack rat pee? <laughs> Which one is human pee? <laughs> and then it says, no, it's not real pee. <laughs> In here, they also have all these little hidden walkways and tunnels that you can go through. Obviously, I'm, I'm way too big to fit in any of those. But they do have a nice little stairway to get up. Kids can go up, climb through the nets if you see above. And they just come and let off steam and the floor is padded as well. One of my favorite things about the Pack Rat Playhouse is this artwork. This is just like, you know, a shadowed cutout with these Beautiful colors on the wall. There you go. The purples, the pinks, the yellows. Very reminiscent of an Arizona sunset and it just runs through the entirety of the building. Really gives it a nice feeling here. They have a watch stuck in the wall here. It appears like the class, but I mean, it's, you know, pliable. Pretty realistic. Dead watch. Stolen by a pack rat. Cockroaches. I don't know if you can see them. There are like roaches up here. Hot wheels. Salt packets. I mean, when I say they went all out with this, they went all out. Bottle caps. Christmas light. Monopoly pieces coins, you name it, they thought of it. Here's a little bit more of the details of things that they find often in pack rat playhouses. This is a pack rat playhouse. Here's another example of more things that they find in different pack rat dens. A pair of sunglasses and all these toys, money, golf balls, Christmas ornaments, Crayola crowns, batteries. And then just some of the different food items you would see in a pack rat nest. Even wires. I imagine, you know, wires are huge because you see all the time in Arizona when you have old cars or vehicles that just sit for a while, they will definitely eat through your wires for sure. Inside here where they have a rattlesnake, they have a scorpion. Pretty big. <laughs> Planted to the ground, but they have you know small little tunnels over here the kids can go through, little benches for the parents to sit. And this Gila monster has a slide for a tail. And it's got a little staircase to get up there. And then just more seats, more cushions. And then these are to symbolize, you know, the buttons of a rattle. So you can stack the rattles, the buttons on the rattlesnake here at the end of his tail. But you have big kids or little kids, you can come in here and escape the heat or come in here just to take a quick rest. Uh, if you guys have been grinding out at the Desert Museum, this is the place to come in and take a rest. But I will warn you, 
If you come on specialty nights or busy days, this place will be packed. There'll be a line outside and you will have to wait to get in here until they free up the capacity space they need to be able to allow more people in here. They're actually pack rat stuffed animals. That's cool. You got your typical rattlesnake, coral, king snake, whatever that one is, stuffed animals. And then here, they do have restrooms as well. So if you need to go to the restroom before you head out, you sure can. One of the nice things is in the restrooms or just kind of all around, they have these SPF 50, excuse me, SPF 30 sun protection, sunblock dispensers all over the place. Cause man, on a hot summer day, the sun's blazing. All right, that was a pack rat playhouse. We love it. We have fun. I'm telling you, come here during the week or on a down day, because if you come prime time, you're waiting in line. And that line is sometimes like 40 minutes to an hour to get in. And then you kind of only have so much time in there because you want to be respectful to everybody else that's got to come in and is waiting in line. So you don't spend as much time in there, but it's really cool. They have a couple souvenirs, snacks, different things like that you can purchase in there. So a great way to catch some rest at the Desert Museum and let the kids just burn out. And then also, um, it's a cool habitat. You know, you get to learn some things. There's, there's information around about the pack rats, what they do, where they live, what they eat. So it's, it's a really cool addition to the Desert Museum. Glad they put it in. We're about halfway through our trip here. We're gonna check and see if we can find some more construction uh, and see if there's any new stuff coming. Uh, because that's been pretty interesting to see today, honestly. Wasn't expecting that when we came out here. And then we'll probably stop and get a snack and wrap this baby up. Right outside of the stingray enclosure, looks like they have a new path here. And they have these stained glass. Or are these stained glass? No, these are like gems. Wow, that's really cool. They reflect really well off the sun and it's just a quick little path up to the entrance. And then they have this dragonfly up here as well. Wow, pretty cool path. It looks like they got these new solar lights they installed. Just being more environmentally conscious. Dad, you can buy wow, it. it says that this glass, it's epoxy, that's what it is. It's epoxy glass, so it's not an actual gym, it's epoxy glass. And it says that that is $22,500 if you would like to purchase it. That's not bad for <laughs> Dang. Big. Some of the views here are amazing as well. I mean, just off in the distance, you got the mountains, all these swirl cactuses growing so tall. And then here you are oh on a paved path. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Dang, <laughs> that thing's huge. I know. And it's been there this whole time. It looks like they just cut some trees away so we can finally see it. They have the aviary park over there. So you can go in there and see all the, the birds. But man, this is as far as you can see. Beautiful desert landscape. We got a snack. What is this called? Um, lemon, ice, ice lemon. lemon loaf cake. There we go. Ice lemon loaf cake. It's really good. Let's go this way, guys. All right, there's also an art gallery here. There's an auditorium where they do shows. Um, there's a hummingbird exhibit. There's another gift shop and another kind of like little small coffee cafe place. So we're gonna start making our way towards that and we're gonna head out for the day. You guys had a good time? Yeah. Yeah? All right, so if you're new to the Desert Museum, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. You will often find people sitting on these walls in the butterfly area, but I will tell you, if you come out here at night, these walls are crawling with scorpions. The scorpions just live inside the walls during the day. And then at nighttime, you can bring a black light out here if it's open late enough, and you will see scorpions glowing all over the place. So my kids are absolutely terrified of this area, even though it's for the butterflies, because they know that if you come out here at night, it's full of scorpions. So pro tip, don't sit on this wall unless you absolutely have to. And then, um, might be the last time you sit down for the day because <laughs> you, you're going to have to get up out of here.
this is new too. What? It's like a beehive honeycomb with all these steel made bees and it looks like they may even light up at night. And that's gonna do it from the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. We've had a good time. The weather's beautiful. The place is evolving. Obviously we saw a lot of construction updates for things that are coming and things that have already made their way to the park. So thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more content here on Life on Video. Later.